So we have another viewer suggestion today. Um, we heard from uh, various people, actually. Uh, Will Euler was one of our viewers who uh, suggested we check out a guy called Mike Massé. Uh, he does a lot of covers on YouTube. And um, he's actually, he was a lawyer from, I think, Ohio or someplace like that, who just started uh, playing on weekends at a bar and started recording his performances. They got really popular on YouTube. He ended up quitting his job, moving to Denver, and doing this full time. What I want to show you is an acoustic cover of Limelight by Rush. And it's Mike Messe uh, playing with uh, a guy named Jeff Hall on bass. Mm. What do you think about that? Well, well, whether you disagree or not, I mean, it's going to be pretty tough to pull off a rush. I mean, they have that stadium sound. Uh, It's it's that amazing power trio. So to do it as a duo, you know. As a duo and acoustically. It's an acoustic yeah, guitar. Yeah, I'm going in as a skeptic, just so you, okay. so you know. But but uh, it would be cool that, that there was a version that blew me away. So, All right. That'd be nice to see. Well, let's check out Mike Massé and Jeff Hall playing Limelight by Rush. Cool. All right, here we go. Mike Massé and Jeff Hall playing their cover of Rush's song, Limelight. (laughs) Good luck.
Well, he his I voice. What you thought first. I, I have a feeling. I have a little bit of an idea. Okay, uh, but th- give me your impression of it. What would your review be on that? So for you. So my impression of it, and and keep in mind, I have watched this a few times already. Um, so uh, my impression of it is his vocals are immaculate. They are perfect. They are. I mean, he hits every note, and he's got a uh, similar tone to Getty Lee. Uh, so it fits the, uh, that he does this song. Um, I thought the bassist was great. Um, and the, the combination sounded great. The one, the one thing I think I missed was, uh, cause the original song is very rocking, you know, and it's got the guitar solo and all that. And when it was supposed to go into that, I kind of missed that a little bit, but it is an acoustic cover of it. And for an acoustic cover of that song, first of all, I would never think to do an acoustic cover of Limelight, but I think it came out as best as it can. Huh? That idea is, we've had this idea before. What? That same idea with that other song. I think it was the Puddles, Uh, you know, where it was something, you know, if you did a certain version of it in a certain way that you would have thought that Mm -hmm. would be that good. And he came in that angle where for me, it just, it didn't work. I think it's the same way. For this as it was with puddles is that i was waiting for the alex lifeson to come with the solo and <clears throat> certain drum you know uh fills and stuff that are just signature to that sound to them i don't think you should do an acoustic version of it because it's always going to come ah, in here to, we go uh, to <laughs> hearing the actual but to hearing like rush live they were like a stadium sound band and that's their signature sound and it's it's like an abba i think but, it's but that. why but why signature. is it a why is it is it too sacred to touch and you shouldn't touch it and do something totally no different? not no. about that no that's that's being absolutely snobby. not a snob no it's that's a being musical snob i'm saying it, it's just if I want to hear that song, I'm going to play Rush. It's that they, they have that distinctive sound. I, I just, it works. So that right? song shouldn't be covered acoustic. Well, okay. Videos. Here's my point. So when we do a, re, you know, a, a reaction video on, say, uh, the Church of the Cosmic Skull or, or one of these groups, mm-hmm. um, and we're doing it and watching to see if they, what they've created, their original music, sure. will take off and fly and make it, you know. Right. Where this is like, what's their purpose if they're going to just be this cover band, or is it just two guys that do this on the side? You know, so it's a different kind of a an well, angle. The, so the, why are we watching their version of it? Uh, I guess you're saying so to see you like seeing a, an original version of something different as much as you like. Yeah. The original. Why why be a cover band otherwise? I mean, there's two types of bands that that do other people's music. One is a tribute band, tribute which band. tries to get as close to the song as possible and the other are cover bands that try to do something I, different with the band with the songs and this is two guys one guy on acoustic one guy on bass one guy singing doing a rush song which is t- typically a, a much harder rock sound and so what are they going to do they're going to try to change it up and i think they were very successful in changing it up for a two piece acoustic set i mean yes I, like I was it's saying in the beginning, I did miss great. I did miss having uh, the the lead guitar in there because yeah, it's that's what I expect from a Rush song, and I knew when it was supposed to come in and it didn't come in. But I'm going into this already thinking this is a two person acoustic cover, so I already knew there wasn't going to be a, a ripping guitar solo. So as far as an acoustic cover of the song, I think they did it really really well. Uh, the, the way it hit me was just it's always going to be rush light no matter how they do it with the, the, the difference in instrumentation i think it's that um but again, so it's what just that signature so if it's rush light because i'm always feeling uh, i'm just telling the way i feel i just feel like i'm wanting um because it's that song it's so cemented it's like come on eileen from 1984 or what he do <laughs> it's just cemented in there uh whereas which is why you have to do something than, different I don't want anything different. Ah, well, that's your close-mindedness, not mine. No, <laughs> it's already perfect. It's no, already see, that's that's now you're putting the song on a pedestal. That, no, and part of it, it's that it's taking me back to 1984, <laughs> and it's that I get that reaction. I want to get that great endorphin rush from music, and I'm not getting it 
from certain things that I, I wish I did. And some things are refreshing, you know. Um, but you you just there, said difference. that that you don't want to hear a cover of, of that song like it's already perfect. So you're saying you're no, you, not you're, a cover of the song. It's about that they're doing an acoustic version of Rush. Yeah, and so. unless Rush did an acoustic song, I don't want to hear an acoustic version of Rush. I just don't. I want to hear wow. Rush. Okay. Oh, hey, that's your your business, I guess. <laughs> no, I, I guess I, in this I, sense, I just don't see way. that. I don't. I don't see closing off immediately and saying, "Oh, Rush acoustic." That's nah, never going to work. Why? No, why not think beforehand. That what I saw of them, I just you know. I don't know. I, it, it's very good, and he's got a great voice. Mm -hmm. And uh, the instrument, you know, bass player did the job. Um, I just wonder why that guy sitting there playing Rush when I would hear like something that they come and create that's new, and I get that reaction from. So I, I, it just left me wanting. So uh, what do you expect from so covers? Well. What do you expect from covers? When someone well, covers I, a song I, you like, truthful, you know, I love the movie. I love a movie like Rockstar. I really do. Uh, and that's being a, a, the point was a tribute band. They're just trying to be and dress exactly. If he gets a, a, a nipple ring, he gets a nipple ring. It's, you know, I yeah, find that that's a different sad. though. That's a tribute. I find band. it. No, I know that. So I'd rather in the cover, at least you're, you know, you add a, a part that, you, you know, a lengthier part or, you know, be a little improvisational or uh, your own take at least on it that we've seen mm -hmm. that are great. Um, because truthful, if you look at like foxes and fossils, although they come across amazing, we loved it. Mm -hmm. They're not anything of their of their own. They're truly just an amazing. They did that song perfectly, but it wasn't anything. Original. Well, they didn't. They didn't change it up. They made it sound almost identical and I love to the that. record. Yeah. I so you prefer tributes to covers? No, I no. I find tributes to be it's, that it's kind of sad. I'm impressed with the playing, and you know, if I love the song, I'd love to. I love hearing tribute bands of songs I love. Mm -hmm. Then they really nail it, like Classic Rock Show or Leonid, Leonid tribute, and Friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he's he, he's such a great musician himself, but he just loves. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, of course, I don't know if they uh, come up with any original stuff. So I shouldn't say. No, uh, I, I haven't heard it, sure. so I do. Yeah. I would love to hear it if there are. Yeah, uh, but uh, you know, so I'm just wondering why they're. I mean, especially when they are good, it's kind of interesting that why are they doing their own stuff? So mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, so, but it's but acoustic version is different. Uh, I just think Rush Rush has worked, and I didn't even like them as much. I liked that kind of uh, um, more um, less uh, high budget, more low budget, you know, blues and stuff like that, where they were this very stadium sound, mm -hmm. very processed and very. Um, you know it's rush and it wasn't all that uh, experimental for me mm -hmm. so for two guys to do a stadium type of sound i don't get that reaction that you do i guess well i'm not saying that this is like <clears throat> oh my god i have to put this on my playlist or anything like that but i think they did an admirable job of covering that song for doing yeah it acoustically. The, uh they were um, yeah, just you know i was i was like this is cool or like but if they did a, a, a a backing track and they did the, the solo part you know because that was kind of key for me you know a lot of guitar solos in songs i don't remember the solo like note for note mm -hmm. like with neil show and i do this one i do mm. you do it note for note because the way he does that screeching and the bends and the yeah yeah it's very different than anyone else it's just kind of a story yeah uh, no so i will admit I, it, I missed i missed the solo because you know when that part was supposed to happen he just you know, played a few chords and what, then went back into singing. Um, but again, I wasn't expecting the solo because yeah, it's an acoustic yeah. cover. Um, well, all right. That's well, something I, then you I, went in like that, which is maybe we, we did go in a little differently. You know, I'll be like, okay, it might be good, but I'm going to want this. If I saw that they were just a, a duo, you know, yeah, but you can't really go in. You want to say, all right, let's see if they can pull it off. Well, you knew going in, it was a duo. Yeah. <laughs> doing I, just, an I, I thought cover. that. I yeah. thought that. I just thought at the beginning it was cool because he did do the vocals so well. Yeah. Uh, but it, it just at the it eventually it felt a little flat. But it was so uh, the thing is, I think um, you would appreciate uh, his version of a Simon and Garfunkel song. Yeah. Much more about that. than you would appreciate a Rush cover. Because well, I, look, I was enticed and, and excited by the idea of can I do a pull off Rush. Yeah. I'll be honest. And I'm sure you were too, in a way. 
Well, so, and I was uh, pleasantly surprised. I was very happy with this. Yeah, I guess that's where it. So, so you yeah. give it a, a you give it a what B plus? Uh, yeah, probably a B plus, A minus. Yeah, I thought it was it was really well, good. So in my mind, I can't give it a D because it wasn't bad at all. It was very good. Mm-hmm. So C. So I, I guess and like it's like a YouTuber making a video doing that song, but a little but in, in a well produced way. So it would be. A C in any way would be mean. I would say, you know, B. I would say B. Hmm. Your That's reaction B, didn't seem know, like hey, a B. <laughs> good job, buddy. You know. Okay. Art is open to do all sorts of different variations on a theme, right? So, yeah. so I think if someone wants to do a bossa nova cover of Metallica, I think that's totally fair game. Or if they want to do, you know, a lounge version of a <laughs> uh, rat uh, or something. But so I was what? Thinking, that's cool. I think this, that's art. That's the point. The, the feeling of this watching that was I was watching a wedding band at a, at a wedding, like, or a bar mitzvah mm-hmm. doing, you know, like Adam Sandler doing that version, which is really great. You're like in this yeah. venue and, you know, 75 people and aunts and uncles. And it was really the, cool for that. I don't, I don't so there was see one anything the, wrong with that. I mean, I've been, I've seen wedding bands that I'm like, absolutely. Those weddings? Ama- yeah. And they're absolutely amazing bands uh-huh. sometimes. Yeah. So yeah. I, you know, I, I feel like calling them a wedding band is, is not really an insult if you're a good wedding band. <laughs> no, I love that movie. So uh, not the movie. <laughs> yeah. I mean, in real life. Yeah, I know. I know. Um, anyway, I, I think, I think you'll, uh, you'll like him a lot better doing uh, an acoustic right, let's song. Let's check that one out next. Yeah. yeah. And, and see, let's follow up with that for sure. And yeah. Let us know if you like that one. If you didn't like it. Um, hey, it's just what you feel, you know. Yeah, no, I mean, we obviously have very differing opinions, uh, and and I feel that uh, everything is fair game to do whatever you want to do to it. So, um, you know, so that that's that's kind of my point. Um, well, in the past, we didn't believe in cover bands like we do now. We're like, well, why copy that song? Where now it's like, that's all right, true. if you're going to copy, it, just do it right. And this is just not well. But see, that's right. the thing: the Clearly. doing it right part is where we differ. I well, think you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay. I mean, comment. Am I delusional that this yes. guy is just, he's so like, just drink the juice, drink the juice. <laughs> Crazy. This is not, All right, well, this is light. It's just, this is, you know. Yeah, but what's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. You make it sound like it's worse. Your basement, I'll go in my basement. You got the bass line <laughs> down. And it gives a shit. I play in Rush. <laughs> All right, we'll guys, see how if you like this, yeah. uh, hit thumbs up, hit subscribe, <laughs> and don't forget <laughs> to hit to. that little bell right there uh, so you get notified whenever we come out with new argument videos. Um, <laughs> hey, and, man, uh, it is what it is. It is what it is. Everyone you has to say it is what Everyone it is. has an opinion. Not all of them can be right like mine. Um, <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, please... Hit those buttons and all that stuff. And uh, until next time, rock and roll. What was the song we just did?